My name is Andrea Topper. I am the Training and Outreach Conservation Specialist with the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. Today, I'm going to spend some time sharing with you Wisconsin's uh, nutrient management planning software, SNAP+. Plus. <clears throat> And just as Amy was mentioning with Ag Site being specific to Nebraska, SNAP Plus is specific to nutrient management planning in Wisconsin. Uh, it is currently only available for people who are trying to write nutrient management plans within the state of Wisconsin. Uh, and I do not believe that it's going to expand uh, just because of how different and specific our rules are in Wisconsin. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of a background for you all. Wisconsin does require all landowners that apply nutrients, whether that be commercial fertilizer or manure, to have a nutrient management plan. With that being said, after our 20 plus years of uh, working to get nutrient management on the ground, we currently have 3.4 million acres covered by nutrient management, which is approximately 37% of the harvestable cropland in Wisconsin. Um, in Wisconsin, we allow certified crop advisors, registered soil scientists, professional crop consultants, as well as landowners uh, who are able to write nutrient management plans. Landowners can write their own nutrient management plan if they attend a DATCAP certified course, and then they are required to go through uh, a refresher course once every four years. As I stated, Wisconsin has been advocating for nutrient management for the past 20 years. Back uh, towards the beginning, uh, DATCAP, the Department of Agriculture, along with NRCS, the Department of Natural Resources, and our uh, UW partners saw the need for a nutrient management planning software and developed SNAP+. Plus. I would say approximately 90% uh, of our nutrient management plans in the state are written using the SNAP+ Plus software. Permitted CAFOs, as well as our 590 farms, so our non-permitted farms, are using the software. So what, that's kind of neat. We have the permitted side of uh, SNAP Plus that has the built-in requirements from DNR, as well as the non-permitted non -permit, permitted features uh, for our 590 farms. SNAP Plus originally started out as an Excel spreadsheet, and as nutrient management planning requirements became more intricate, the program grew to meet uh, the state's specific needs. Uh, the program is free, and available for download, um, and which is really exciting. The developers are working on a version three of SNAP Plus for us right now, which is going to be cloud-based. So I've mentioned uh, SNAP Plus, but really what is it? Well, it's our nutrient management planning software here in the state of Wisconsin. It has Wisconsin's specific 590 standard built into it. The Wisconsin 590 standard from NRCS is unique in the fact that it is highly detailed and it has many additions compared to the national standard. SNAP Plus has taken those rules and guidelines and built them into the program. So with that, it helps planners identify if they're meeting and planning um, their nutrient management plans to meet the requirements that we have set in our state. So some of the things that SNAP Plus can help us identify as we're going through planning, do I have enough soil samples? Am I using, um, am I, you know, meeting my crop fertility recommendations? Uh, am I following the restricted area maps for manure and nutrient applications? All the while, the program is helping us make sure that we're meeting tolerable soil loss on each of our fields, as well as meeting the phosphorus index requirements. The multitude of rules and guidelines can make it difficult for planners to make sure that we're meeting uh, our, all of our planning requirements. But thankfully, SNAP Plus uh, alleviates a lot of that stress for us. So what information does SNAP Plus need? First and foremost, it requires current soil tests. So in Wisconsin, we require soil test, to, soil test results to be submitted. So we require soil samples to be submitted to DATCAP certified labs. We then on top of that require one sample for every five acres and our samples need to be pulled once every four years. Once they have their current soil test, then we move on to our field locations. Why are our field locations important? It's important because it's going to be GPS referenced and it's pulling in our soil type information. The soil type information then can affect um, specific nutrient application timings. It will affect uh, yield potential of our soils and it will also impact our UW fertility recommendations. Thirdly, we need to make sure that we're taking the time to enter in animal information. 
the type of animals, how many animals, is there manure storage on the property? All of those factors will help the program then uh, come up with a, a general estimate of how much manure will be produced on the farm, in turn helping the planner uh, properly allocate the manure across the fields. Last but not least comes the cropping information. This is the real kind of meat and potatoes or where the plan starts to come together. So we're entering in our crops, our yield goals, our tillage practices, and the nutrient applications all, um, all within the software. So how does SNAP Plus work? I'm gonna quickly walk through some of the screenshots to show you different features within the program. Again, it's a very robust, big program and it's hard to do in a short period of time, um, but I will do my best. So first and foremost, the user is required to set up a farm and identify what crops are in their rotation. So you start on the farm tab, and as we build our nutrient management plan, you slowly work across these tabs. So this user has generated their specific crops that they're going to be growing on their farm, and then it's time to come in and identify fields. So you're going to go in and you can either upload sheet files or you can draw your field boundaries um, by plotting vertices points by hand. Next is the soil test tab. This is the section where we upload our soil test results for each of the fields. SNAP Plus will then identify the soil test levels and categorize them as very low, uh, low, optimum, high, or excessively high based on an adjusted average for all of the soil tests. So I mentioned earlier that we do require one sample for every five acres, but there is a built-in adjusted average in the program to help um, to put us in within our soil test thresholds of optimum, low, or high. And then um, based on those categories that we fall into with our soil test results, uh, our university fertility recommendations are built into the program, and then the program will guide us on how much uh, nit nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are required to grow the yield that the user cho chooses. Next is our mapping portion. So, you know, we have our, our fields drawn in the program, but now we're gonna start looking at some of our uh, restrictive layers, okay? So this is where we're going to make sure that we have our wells identified, other conduits to groundwater, um, you know, any other sinkholes or mines or fractured bedrock at the surface, any type of feature that could lead to an environmental um, consideration, we need to make sure that we have documented in our maps. The reason we document them is because then the program helps us build buffers and um, it will keep it in the back of its mind, the requirements that it has when it comes time for a manure application or a commercial fertilizer application. Uh, one thing I will mention is that SNAP Plus is a program that lives on your computer. The SNAP Maps portion of the program is cloud or internet based. And so you do have to go through this process of uploading and downloading the information to get this, the mapping portion and the SNAP Plus, progr SNAP Plus program portion to talk to each other. So once you have all of those kind of restrictions built into the plan, um, SNAP Plus is remembering all that information in the background for us. And now it's time to go in and add in our nutrients. So the program has this awesome feature where we can go through and add in our nutrient sources. So this farm specifically has um, some beef grazing happening. They also have some uh, beef solid manure. They have some dairy solid manure as well as some dairy pit manure. Okay, SNAP Plus automatically uses book values um, for our manure sources. So when you pick a manure source, it automatically populates those book values that we have set in, as standards in the state of Wisconsin. But if you have your own manure analysis, you can easily click on these numbers and change them and or upload your own manure analysis and the program will do it automatically. Additional feature um, that the program has built in is the manure production estimator. This feature helps users identify how much manure they're going to be producing on an annual basis based on the amount of animals that they have on their property. So the first thing the user goes through and does is identify the types of animals that they have, and then it's gonna go through and identify the number of those animals that they have. Then they also have the option to identify the number of days that those animals will be present on the property. And then last but not least, it's important to identify the percent collected and spread as a solid versus the percent collected and spread as a liquid. Then at the bottom, it will give us this farm total for the total tonnage of our solid manure and the total gallons of our liquid manure. 
So this number, then the program keeps track of in the background. And as we make our manure applications on our certain fields based on the rate and the field acreage, the program will automatically calculate the remaining uh, tonnage or gallons of manure that we have left to help us you know, keep in line, making sure that we're planning out the correct amounts of manure to be going out on our fields so that we have enough land base and that we're meeting regulations and requirements. One neat feature that the program does have built into it is a built-in calculator to help demonstrate the nutrient value of manure. It is based on commercial fertilizer costs, so the user is able to come in here and enter in the current price per pound of nitrogen that they're paying for, or phosphorus or potassium or sulfur. And when the user enters in that uh, amount, the program will automatically take the known annual volume of each of their types of manure and build um, a, a specific rate of value for that manure, giving you a total value at the bottom. A lot of our farmers this day and age when uh, fertilizer prices are so expensive, they like to be able to see, see that value of the manure. And it also helps put the perspective into nutrient management planning is worth it. You know, it's, it's helping me manage $18,000 worth of nutrients. So then this is really where the plan kind of comes together. This is what we call the cropping tab. This is where the user is going to start building out their cropping rotations. They're going to identify the crop that they're growing. They're going to identify their uh, yield goals, their tillage practices. And then uh, down in the bottom, they're going to start allocating their manure and their commercial fertilizer applications. The program does take into consideration our, our UW fertility recommendations for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. All of um, our common crops uh, in Wisconsin have had research um, that produce our phosphorus and our potassium recommendations. Our nitrogen recommendations use soil test values uh, and um, our, or, our organic matter percentage, along with some soil properties built into our nitrogen recs. One last thing I want to mention before I uh, hand it over to Tibor, we also have this new app called Smart. This app works in conjunction with SNAP Plus. This app is for manure haulers out in the field applying manure applications. So what it does is it takes the restriction maps that are built within SNAP Plus and provides it on, an, on a device. So when that manure hauler is out in the field, they can actively see their GPS uh, location fall within the different red no spread zones um, or in the white area where they can spread. And so it can also act as a record keeping tool so it can keep track of the loads or the amount of manure being spread on a certain field. And then that can be uploaded back into SNAP Plus so that the uh, nutrient management planner can help uh, better keep track of where the manure is going and, and how it's being managed. So again, I said uh, that's a lot of information to throw at you guys. I apologize. Thank you.